Tell me why you're so concerned. Master Carr, you promised we would be undetected, but the ship we've been tracking for you is here. Calm your fear, Hiroshio. It will not serve you. I will speak with your visitor when the time comes. Expect the conversation to be short, Jedi. Uh, okay. You never told me we'd be tracking a Sith. You were provided the details necessary to perform your duties. Now please, remain quiet. Sith, I presume you are Darth Barriss' new apprentice. I am Jedi Master Norman Carr. Do you know me? All you Jedi look alike to me. <laughs> Soon to be deceased. You have your master's disposition, I see. Barris and I like to keep tabs on each other, so when I heard of a new apprentice, I investigated. These men were merely monitoring the equipment, following orders. There's no need for bloodshed here. I do not bleed my enemies out of need, Jedi. I enjoy it. How sobering. Getting this first-hand look at you tells me much. I see no need for further pretense. Let's speak frankly. I know Barris has spies, and I know you were sent to extract two of them before they could be exposed. But I'll soon have the proof I need. Barris' spies can't hide for long. Your pupil's powers are a sham. She is leading you on a witch hunt. Ah, you know more than I thought. Barris, no doubt, is after my Padawan. How unfortunate. I've kept her identity and location a secret. So you and your master are just feeling your way in the dark. But my Padawan is of supreme importance to me in the Jedi Order. I will not let harm come to her. I would expect nothing less. In that case, I shall exceed your expectations, my friend. Hiroshio, let me show you why there was no cause for concern. These troopers are among the Republic's finest. Surrender, and the Jedi Council will be lenient. You're digging your own grave. Then you leave me no choice. Men, take the Sith in, by any means necessary. Seems Darth Barris has found himself a singularly vicious weapon in you. This experience has given me valuable insight. I'll be prepared for you next time, Sith. I'll wait right here, Carr. Come and face me now. Jedi do not seek out a fight. My place is by my Padawan's side, teaching her the ways of the Force and honing her talents. I will do everything in my power to keep her hidden from you. I'm talking to a dead man. Until we meet again. Now that Norman Carr realizes that we seek his Padawan, there's no time to waste. He claimed the girl on her home planet of Alderaan, and she trained on Tatooine. I have agents on both planets digging up leads. Find the people who know this girl. Someone means enough to her to make her come out of hiding. I will obliterate everything she knows. I am confident this is how we will prevail. The Padawan's training is incomplete. She is susceptible. The anguish you cause will flush her out, and you will kill her and her master. Perhaps the Padawan can be turned. Her power would be a great asset, yes. Put through enough torment, she may reveal her base nature. But we must be cautious. The danger she represents is extreme. As long as she lives, she is a threat. Seduction to the dark side should be left to masters. If there is even a sliver of doubt in your heart, it can backfire. I will be mindful, Master. You have yet to face a Jedi Master. The righteousness and passionless demeanor is nauseating. And Noman Carr is no ordinary master. Confronting him, you will find profound fortitude and hate. Or you will falter. I will not falter. My hate knows no bounds. Just be sure it serves you.
Be off, then. Tatooine and Alderaan await. Discover this Padawan's identity and destroy her. The sands of Tatooine await you, apprentice. I've gleaned much since our interrogation of the Republic agent here on Drummond Kass. I am certain Noman Kar brought this gifted Padawan to Tatooine to train with a legendary master named Yonlock. Years ago, I urged the Dark Council to hunt down and destroy this Jedi. They refused, and Yonlock went into hiding on Tatooine. He's hiding in the desert. Why does this coward Jedi concern us? He was the greatest Jedi teacher of his time. The Force remains strong in him. Yonlock is the one who brought the Padawan's powers into expression. Now they share a special bond. Find him and destroy him. I will bring the old man to his knees. Norman Kar shelters his prize, so we will draw her out by destroying everything she loves. My servant Sharok Biv will guide you. She is eccentric, an acquired taste, but give her the benefit of the doubt. I'll give her what she needs to do the job at hand. And I'm telling you, what she needs is your tolerance. That is all. The harsh sands of Tatooine welcome you. I am Sharak Reeve. Our Lord and Master Darth Barris bid me to impart my knowledge of this planet and help you track down the Jedi Master Yonlock. Just tell me where to find the Jedi. It is not such a simple matter. You will find Master Yonlock by tracing the path the Padawan and her master took. I can tell you where they started. I followed them to the forbidden lair of the ancient sand demon. A terrible beast. The Padawan left her weapons and entered alone. Impossibly, she returned unscathed. Maybe the demon was not in its lair. I thought that as well. The sand demon is the fiercest creature on this planet. You don't just walk into its lair and return without a scratch. I investigated further. The beast was there, also undamaged. And what's most perplexing, its skin was glistening. That is very confusing. Was it bleeding? Not blood as from a wound. More like the layer of living gel one is born into the world covered in. What happened in that cave is a mystery. As is where the Padawan and her master went afterwards. There is one man on Tatooine who might be able to explain. Is a bow chief. He's as old as the sand. Part madman, part soothsayer. I want to talk with this man immediately. It will not be easy to speak with chief. The small farming settlement where he lives has been overrun by exchange thugs. The exchange hates the Empire for running them out of Mos Ela. They will allow me to pass, but they'll attack you on sight. Thanks for looking out for me. I'm invested in seeing you succeed, and I will meet you at Isabeau Jeeves. The world is weeping, and the tears evaporate in the heat of our sins. I think you mean from the heat of our suns, Isabeau. No, child. There is a dark presence newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, Sith. You made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. They tried to stop me. They failed. Failure can be contagious, and hard to dispel once contracted. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the Sand Demon. You see it correctly. My eyes may be aged and failing, but my mind sees. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. 
The sands speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. Explain this ritual. The Demon's Blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh sand demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the Demon Slayer, the Savage Ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. According to Shark, the Padawan did not slay the beast. There must be another way to bathe in the beast's blood. But you'll have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, you'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then see if the Savage Ones speak. If I don't find satisfaction, it will be your blood I bathe in. Satisfaction of any kind in the Tatooine Desert is likely an illusion. Here are the coordinates you will need. After you face the Sand Demon, I will meet you at the Sand People compound. If the legend is true, and the Sand People have something to offer you, I wish to see it with my own eyes. My lord, permission to speak. I have thoughts about our present undertaking. Speak, Captain. I'm not sure what the Padawan could have done to avoid a physical confrontation with the Sand Demon. No doubt some Jedi mind manipulation. But if a girl nascent in the Force can quell the beast, surely we can. And then we can slaughter the monster with ease. Are you concerned about facing the Sand Demon? An unknown enemy is always a concern. But I've seen you overcome fearsome foes before. It seems the time is upon us. The demon has caught our scent. Desert Monster, I stand my ground. I will not run. to my eyes, beast. We are one at peace. The beast sleeps. Now, let us see what transpires. Remarkable. The beast appears to have gone into hibernation and shed its skin. The amount of blood it's letting is astounding. The beast's stench is thick on us. It makes my eyes water. It will pass, Captain. I'm not concerned. I believe we have succeeded in the demon blood ritual. Are we to move on to the Sand People compound, my lord? Sounds like a plan. Lead the way, my lord. I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The Sand People all ran from you. What transpired inside the Sand Demon Cave that makes this so? My business is none of yours. Now that I see you close up, I can guess. You have the demon's blood all over you. Its essence follows you. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. But there doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the Sand People approaches. I'll take that. I've never seen one of the Sand People approach an outsider in peace. 
This parchment the sand person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Wound Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine and there is no such door. Perhaps the sand people know the desert better than you. Perhaps. An unsettling thought. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed, using the dune's shadows. Then I'll see you there. You won't see me until I wish to be seen. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe journey. You have lost your way, Dark One, but I have come to correct your course. I am the embodiment of your greatest potential. I am what you could be if you overcame your fear and walked in the light. Impossible. You're trying to trick me. Only someone riddled with fear lies to himself. The light eliminates the need for such fear. Let me prove that I am you. We hunt Noman Kar's Padawan, who can see the true nature of anyone. Our master, Darth Barris, fears that this girl will expose his network of spies and bring about his demise. I accept that you are the light side of me, so what? So, I am here to save you. If you persist down this path, your life will be consumed by paranoia and fear. The trail will wait around every corner. You will never know whom to trust. I don't live in a fantasy world. Trust is an illusion. To someone who only knows darkness, it would seem so. You see, the dark side seeks to subjugate the Force. It treats the Force as an adversary to be used and manipulated. When you embrace the light, you meld with the Force, become part of it. Then true clarity and peace can be achieved. Don't make me laugh. Don't scoff, Dark One. Look at our master. If the Dark is so potent, why is Darth Barris deathly afraid of a young girl? Noman Kar's Padawan is merely a nascent champion of the light, and already she strikes fear into the heart of a Dark Side master. I won't fall for your manipulations. If you refuse the light, you must strike me down. Do you have it in you to kill part of yourself? I will eradicate all lightness in the galaxy. Come then, take me on. You will discover the light inside you cannot be vanquished. You have proven your way is strong and viable. With this victory, our essence has been purified. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Is this where I will find the Jedi Master Yornlock? There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yonlock beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? It's not polite to eavesdrop. I only just arrived. It was not my intention to listen in. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one! 
Even the sand people dare not go. You mustn't go. Wet your pants somewhere else. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. I needn't waste any more time with a coward. How that word burns me. I will return to your spaceport and update Darth Barriss. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. You've figured it out. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I assure you, I can be very convincing. Your will may be great, but hers is greater, and mine is unrelenting. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I fear no one. This is not an attempt at intimidation. Just a simple statement of fact. In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yul Lee has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. My lord, the threat is not lost on me. Are you certain we can take on a full Jedi Master and a Jedi Knight? Keep your wits, Quinn. Your compatriot's query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. You don't fight fair, Jedi. When the stakes are this high, I am bound to do whatever it takes to preserve the Order. Now for the last time, will you stand down? I don't respond well to threats. Enough of this! It's useless to reason with the Sith. Yu Li, don't! Blazes, my hand is forced! Stop! Hold your weapon, Sith! I beg you! Yu Li, stay your tongue! No! She is just a Padawan! You are a great master! I must bargain for your life! Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yanlok. Your devotion is remarkable. I'm sorry, Master Yonlock, but I must do this. Her name is Jaisa Wilson, and Nomen Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yu Li's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorcerer's nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaisa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. I'm going to do much more than touch her. You know Jaisa's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jaisa will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. There 
is no death, only the Force. My lord, I'm sorry I was of no use to you. I did not anticipate the Jedi's incapacitating tactic. Next time, be more prepared, Captain. I will endeavor to do so, my lord. I'm just thankful my support proved to be unnecessary. Sharik said she would be at our ship. She thought we were doomed. We should inform her of our success. She should never have doubted. She's about to learn that, my lord. I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. I don't care what you do. It is my great shame that I have not endeared myself to you. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I bid you farewell. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. It will be a pleasure to put this overheated sandbox behind us. You're not typically one to complain, Quinn. I won't make a habit of it, my lord. I will ready the ship for our departure. You have done admirably, Apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. Norman Carr's Padawan, Jaso Wilson, no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. I'm touched by your enthusiasm. Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Norman Carr and Jaso Wilson now know they cannot hide. It gnaws at the Master and will bring his prized Padawan to her knees. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. I believe that moment is rushing toward us. Only Alderaan remains. Jason Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive.